Hello boys and girls, my name is Danny Mac and I've been doing a lot of rigging in Blender recently and things work a little bit differently to Maya so I wanted to record how shape keys, drivers, controls and limits work using a super simple mouth shape. I've already created the initial shape which is just a circle squashed down and named mouth. I then duplicated the circle twice from which I created these shapes and named them accordingly. Now if you're following along it's worth noting that these shapes should be created in edit mode. Before adding them as shape keys to the mouth, I first set a base shape on the mouth by coming to object data and adding a shape key. Now I select the target shapes followed by the original then click join as shapes from the drop down menu. I'll quickly check that they work and then hide the extra shapes as we won't need them anymore. In an animation scenario I'd want to control these shapes using a visual control so to create that I'll add a plane, rotate it 90 on X then in object mode I'll hit delete only faces. Then I'll add an empty circle and scale it down before shift selecting the square and hitting ctrl P to parent it. I'll name them like so and move the parent control off to one side. The circle will control the shape of the mouth so I want to make sure it doesn't deviate from its parent control. So to do this I'll come to constraints and add a limit location constraint. The Y value can just be locked, as can the rotation and scale, but I'll first apply the scale using Ctrl A, just to keep things clean. I only want the mouth control to occupy the bottom half of the square, so I'll set the minimum and maximum value of X to minus 1 and 1, and the minimum and maximum value of Z to minus 1 and 0, making sure it's set to local space. The control is now restricted but notice the location value moves beyond the limits. This is a quirk of Blender that doesn't affect what happens in the 3D viewport but it's something you should be aware of. Now let's make the controller drive the shapes of this mouth. Select the mouth and under each shape key right click the value slider and select add driver manually. You should see them turn purple. Now we'll open up a new window and set it to graph editor and change the F curve to drivers. You'll find the drivers underneath key. With mouth wide narrow selected I'll press N and bring up the drivers panel. I'll change the driver type to average value and set the driver object to be the mouth controller. I want the wide narrow shape to be controlled by moving the controller on the X axis. So I'll change the type to X location and the space to local space. Notice when we move the control in the positive X direction it drives the shape key and when we reach 1 the shape key is activated 100%. However when we move it in a negative direction nothing happens. To fix this come back to the shape key and change the range min value to minus 1. The narrow shape takes care of itself and is essentially the inverse of the wide shape. Now let's set up the open close driver. Again I'll set it to average value and the driving object to our controller in local space but this time I want the Z location to drive it. But notice nothing happens. This is because our Z location value is a negative number. So to get around this I'll change the driver type to scripted expression and I'll input the simplest expression possible, minus var. All this will do is invert our variable which you'll notice is named var turning our negative Z value into a positive. We now have a very simple but very cool mouth controller. If you like and share this video you'll be doing a lot to support me and you might also consider visiting my Gumroad store where you'll find a bunch of tutorial packages covering advanced topics for your 3D characters. Thanks for watching.